1. Opting for quality over the absolute cheapest. In the world of frugality, where every penny saved is celebrated, the idea of always going for the cheapest option seems like a smart approach. While saving money is important, I emphasize the value of considering quality over solely focusing on the price tag. Sure, there have been times when I've chosen the cheapest option available, and almost every time, it has backfired in some way. The allure of low prices can be tempting, but I've learned that sometimes, these choices end up costing more in the long run. The concept of buy one to cry once resonates deeply with me. Constantly replacing cheap items due to their poor quality not only wastes money but also contributes to environmental waste. Allow me to share a personal example that illustrates this principle. Take my favorite pair of jeans from a brand called Nudie. They're not the cheapest option on the market, but they fit perfectly, are comfortable, and last significantly longer than cheaper alternatives. Investing a bit more upfront ensures a longer-lasting product that provides superior comfort and satisfaction. This mindset applies to various products in our lives, whether it's technology, furniture, or even appliances. Did you find the video helpful so far? Please consider liking the video and continue this video by typing I am frugal in the comments below. 2. Thrift Shopping and My Unique Take Thrifting has gained immense popularity for its potential to unearth hidden treasures at bargain prices. While it's undoubtedly a smart way to save money and recycle goods, it's one frugal habit I don't personally embrace, and I'm here to share my perspective on this phenomenon. Thrifting is often seen as a creative adventure, where you score thrift stores for unique clothing and accessories. It's eco-friendly and can yield remarkable finds. However, my reasons for not engaging in this practice are twofold personal preference and practical considerations. Firstly, I hold a certain level of germophobia, and the idea of wearing clothing that others have worn triggers discomfort. Additionally, I harbor an irrational fear of bed bugs, making me hesitant about bringing secondhand items into my space. But more importantly, my choices align with my values. I strive to minimize waste and focus on conscious consumption. While thrifting aligns with the eco-friendly ethos, I opt to support sustainable and ethical brands that adhere to cruelty-free and sustainable practices. Furthermore, the appeal of thrifting often lies in finding deals on items you may not need. Instead of accumulating possessions, I encourage viewers to invest in quality items that serve their needs and bring lasting value. It's about finding a balance between financial efficiency and personal satisfaction. 3. Reusing and Reproposing with Boundaries In the realm of frugality and sustainability, Reusing and repurposing are heralded as ingenious ways to reduce waste and save money. While I am a staunch advocate of mindful living, there are boundaries I draw when it comes to reusing single-use containers or repurposing items that have outlived their purpose. Undoubtedly, repurposing items can contribute to a greener lifestyle. The line between ingenious repurposing and hoarding is often thin, and it's crucial to avoid crossing it. Rather than turning every piece of waste into a potential project, my focus is on making purposeful decisions that align with my lifestyle. Reproposing single-use containers, for instance, can be a double-edged sword. While it saves on immediate costs and reduces waste, it can also lead to accumulating clutter and a mindset of holding onto items just in case. Instead, I advocate for responsible recycling and consciously minimizing the use of single-use items altogether. Furthermore, reusing or reproposing shouldn't compromise personal hygiene or safety. Items that could potentially harbor germs or pests, like food containers, aren't ideal candidates for reuse in my book. The key is to strike a balance between sustainability and practicality. 4. Couponing, Savings, and Selectivity Couponing has become synonymous with saving money, often celebrated for its ability to slash grocery bills and other expenses. However, my approach to frugality takes a more measured stance on couponing, emphasizing a balanced approach to saving while maintaining selectivity. Couponing can indeed yield substantial savings, especially in a consumer-driven world. But it's crucial to consider the fine line between being thrifty and accumulating items you don't need just because they're on sale. Moreover, the time investment in extreme couponing may not align with everyone's lifestyle. Spending hours scarring for coupons, organizing them, and strategizing shopping trips can be a trade-off between time and savings. Instead of diving headfirst into couponing, I advocate for strategic shopping based on personal needs and preferences. It's about seeking deals on items that genuinely enhance your life and fit your lifestyle, rather than amassing a stockpile of products 
simply because they're available at a discount. 5. Navigating housing choices wisely. Housing decisions play a significant role in personal finance and frugality. Renting out a room, house hacking, or having roommates are commonly praised strategies for reducing living expenses. While house hacking and sharing living spaces have financial benefits, my stance reflects the importance of personal well-being. I believe that having a space where you can retreat, unwind, and call your own is invaluable. It's about finding a balance between financial efficiency and emotional well-being. Having a roommate or renting out a room can indeed help offset costs, but it also involves sharing your living space and relinquishing a degree of privacy. Moreover, my approach to housing involves understanding the trade-offs between financial savings and quality of life. While reducing living expenses is crucial, it's equally important to evaluate the impact on your overall happiness and well-being. I acknowledge that different individuals have varying preferences and circumstances. For some, the financial benefits of renting out a room or house hacking might align perfectly with their goals. A peaceful and comfortable living environment contributes significantly to mental health and overall satisfaction. My philosophy emphasizes the importance of maintaining a balance between financial frugality and creating a living space that enhances your daily life. It's about finding a housing arrangement that aligns with your values, personality, and desired quality of life. 6. Personal Space and Autonomy In the realm of frugal living, suggestions such as renting out a room or having roommates are often presented as effective ways to save money. While financial considerations are undeniably important, my approach to frugality acknowledges the significance of individual well-being. Having personal space, privacy, and a comfortable living environment can contribute significantly to one's mental health and overall happiness. Sharing living spaces with others, whether through renting out a room or having roommates, undoubtedly provides financial relief. However, it also involves compromising on personal space and privacy. Furthermore, my approach recognizes that personal comfort and well-being are paramount. Arriving home to a space that's entirely yours, where you can unwind and recharge, is invaluable. It's about understanding that financial savings shouldn't come at the cost of personal contentment. While having a roommate or house hacking might work well for some, my channel encourages viewers to assess these options in the context of their own values and preferences. It's about finding a balance between financial prudence and creating a living environment that fosters happiness. There you have it, an exploration of six common frugal habits that I personally choose not to follow each stemming from a unique perspective that considers the delicate balance between financial responsibility and overall quality of life. If you want to know the best frugal living tips for the richest people in the world, click here and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to FinTuber Talks for more useful content. Thank you for your valuable time.